you. Thank all you right, so all much. right. Simmer down, everybody. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Morgan. I'm Garrett. <laughs> We're here at Excellent Sound today going over... Well, the song you just heard was our latest song, Hades, what came out yesterday with Slumberjack. Shout out, Slumberjack. And yeah, today we're going to be going over how to make some beefy... Beefy bass. Fuggin' 808s. Beefy <laughs> bass. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to start us out here. We got, a, um, we got a little kick and then a little subgroup to go over. So first and foremost, when you're doing like your low-end stuff, is you want to make sure with most songs is that you want to make sure you have a really tight kick because you want to be able to hear that sub bass like as quick as possible. So our like our rule for thumb is and shout out excellent for this. Our rule for kick. thumb. You want to try that again? Rule for th- <laughs> rule of thumb. <laughs> okay. F- first of all, pick a good kick. <laughs> Second of all, we always try to make it pretty much about a 16th note in length just so we could get our sub in as quick as possible. So yeah, I was give the people the beef as quick. As yes. Possible. You want the big beef. Come on, fam. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, pick a good kick, make it short. Yeah, so we're just like t- pulling it in here, make a grid 16, and then just fade it a little bit. And then, um, so like um, our workflow for like our, our subs is kind of just to have like three different layers. Sometimes we'll have like five or something. But yeah, it depends weird. how yeah. deep we want to go. For the most part, you want to think about it in like the way an OTT works. You get your lows, your mids, and your highs. So for this example, we got, okay, so th- and this is what it sounds like. This is the 808 we're going over. Thick. Yeah, so you're gonna, you're gonna, you want to so think about thick. it in three different lists. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you got your lows, you got your mids, you got your highs. And this is kind of how we separate it. And the, w- the reason why we like to have it in like MIDI like this is that um, if you pitch an 808 around, sometimes you'll lose integrity in the high end. Yeah, you get some weird warping with depending on what yeah. warp mode you use. So the, the safest bet we found is just the serum. Yeah, sometimes we'll, at the end, go and bounce it out and then put in our fades and stuff. Yeah, because sometimes it can sound cool when you warp it and push yeah. it up and stuff. But for our main layer, we want it as clean as possible, so we yeah. usually pick straight out of the synth. Okay, so for our low layer, let's pull up an EQ real quick. Most of the time, we just have just this fundamental frequency, which is just nothing else. This is one sine wave and pull-up serum. Probably an E-flat minor. Yeah. That's the fattest. Probably an E-flat minor. <laughs> and then... Okay, so yeah, th- so this is just a basic shape sine wave, and that's just one frequency. That's it. That's your fundamental frequency. And so what you're going to want to do, if you're going to have multiple layers in your sub, is you're going to want to turn this random down, because what the random means is that it could start this sine wave at any point, every every separate time you play it. So if you have a bunch of different layers, and you have different sine waves starting at different times with different distortions happening, it'll make your entire 808 sound a little different every time. It'll just it'll phase out. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it'll just create phasing. So you want to make sure your random is all the way down. And so with our our low layer, and mind you, nothing on the effects or anything. Uh, no yeah, here. yeah. So for the most part, we just want to have this one frequency. But um, depending on the track or like the the key and stuff like that, what we'll do is um, kind of try to focus on these first three harmonics, which is like the super low end of the um, sub. So if you just pull this up. What you're gonna do is, um, is you're gonna see this little notch come up, and this will be this is called a um, an even harmonic. So this would be, if you had a saw wave, it would kind of be like this all the way down. So this kind of creates the rumble in your low end, which is a lot of the like super like gritty sounding. St- they're not gritty, but just like booming sounding stuff. So we'll kind of just adjust these first three to taste and just see how it fits with the rest of the 808. And you could just adjust this at a. Uh, at any point in the process. So we kind of, this third harmonic, which would be the square harmonic, sounds really good with uh, like anything like E or lower for the most part. So kind of having this up just gives you a lot of a lot of beef. Yeah, so right there, even if you don't want to layer and you want like just a super clean s- sub, but you want some beef to just the low end, you don't want to add all like the distorted layers we're going to go over. That right there out of the box is a great sounding sub. Yeah, yeah. so just with this and the kick. Just a little bit of tweaking with just a side wave. Yeah, that's fat stuff right there. And then, uh, so Garrett's going to take us over the uh, the mids mids layer right here. I'll switch mics over here. Um, So we like to get kind of creative with the mids. We I have pulled up here just uh, a bunch of different plugins we'll use on the mids. Um, And I'll just kind of flip through and show you our process. We don't have any, like, specific process. We kind of just case to case basis. Wait, just should you just move the mic? Move this over stuff? here? Yeah, yeah I, guess, I guess that <laughs> works. I'll go back over here. What's up, gang? What's up? <laughs> All right. Now that I've been completely flustered, I'll try and explain the <laughs> mids here for you. Thank you, Morgan. 
All right, so um, first thing we like a go to we always have is the erosion. Um, so I'll just flip through each one and kind of show you what each uh, effect each one has on it. So, or show them the patch first. Oh, patch. So we'll often choose um, like a triangle for this one because it has a little more harmonics mm -hmm. um, than just a, a classic sine wave. Um, so I just put the basic tube distortion on here. So just right out of the box, I have the low cut. So I'll just give you this so you can hear that thing. So just get a little crunch coming right out through the distortion. Um, and there's a little noise on the noise oscillator as well. Yeah, so yeah. this noise is super important for when we start distorting it further because um, the way the distortion interacts with the noise gives it some really nice uh, crunch. So the erosion is just adding more noise. So we'll kind of filter through and find a good spot um, where it sounds nice and crunchy usually towards the uh, low mids here. So we got that. Then we have the overdrive to just add some more distortion. Kind of just fuck around with the drive tone, dial it in where you'd like. Yeah, and we don't always have every single one of these plugins. These are just like the stuff that you would use to get your mid layer sounding like super. Yeah, I'm going to go a little overboard here just to show you how drastic you can get, but we, we often will probably just have a couple of these. Um, pedal, which is new to uh, Ableton 10. Um, is another great distortion plugin. So I'm going to turn these off so it doesn't get ridiculous. Yeah. But this one gives you some nice controls because it, it has each band here. Um, you can you can kind of add. Okay, so it has three different modes. So I'll just this is an overdrive mode. So you can kind of crank each individual one. It starts sounding ridiculous, but I'll just do the uh, like mid and treble, and then kind of dial back the dry wet here. And then this knob here is the focus of the mids. So this will be like more. I mid, this is straight yeah. mid, and this is low mid. So for this, we'll probably go low mid. And then flip through the different modes, so you get completely different distortion out of it. That's a nice one. Cool. Saturator is a classic. We like to put it on hard curve for stuff like this because it's just a really drastic um, saturation. So as you crank that, just kind of it kind of like flattens it out completely, turns it into like more of a square. Yeah. And then you can fuck with. Like the bass and the depth to get even crazier shit out of it. And then our favorite for this layer is trash. So we'll often just go to, we've gotten into like trying to make our own little patches out of it. Yeah. Because um, there's a lot of cool ways to manipulate it. But if you just grab this and pick, uh, pluck through the presets, there's some great shit right out of the box here. So we'll just throw this on here. Yeah, it can get really gnarly, but there's some, like, really cool. We found the, uh, where's the, oh, the Convolve module. So if you literally just pick. So this is, like, a convolution reverb. It's yeah. a super short reverb. Where's the goddamn? <laughs> just right it's in just there. these ones. Yeah. Right? Okay, cool. <laughs> so these get you, these kind of, like, it's, it's, a re it's a Convolve reverb. So it, it like, kind of washes it out. But as a layer, it can sound really cool. You get some really unique timbre out of it. And do they got? Is this for rent for own too on Splice? I don't know if this it might one be. Is. I think if they got, I, if, if it, I think they have most Isotope things rent to own. Yeah. So yeah, you don't have to sh outright buy this if you want to go on Splice and rent to own it. You can pay like ten bucks a month for it. Yeah. Um, great plugin for just. Yeah, you could great. You could get super good sounding 808s without stuff like this, but it's just like more stuff. To make. Yeah. So you can get really ridiculous out of the Convolve. Cool. Let me lower it back for you. Dial it back again. Yeah, we'll usually just sit here for like 20, 30 minutes yeah, just messing just around. Get, just get it dialed in perfectly. Yeah. And the biggest thing with this layer is just making sure you have the low cut at the end. so that Yeah, you don't yeah. want all that distorted high end. And yeah. then we'll go over what we do do for the high end to get you the clean highs. Um, so it's not just completely obliterated from the distortion. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so yeah, for the high end, what we uh, a lot of the times do is, um, again, with that distortion type stuff, but also we've been messing around a lot with um, erosion sine waves just to add like a super like FM sounding um, top end to everything. So all together. So that's adding like a super nice sizzle on the top. Super clean, yeah, and I'll so just it's not like distorted. Yeah, I'll just peel this back just to go over everything. Peel it back for me. I'll peel it. 
<laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, to start, <laughs> to start, we just have that simple uh, sine wave again. Emphasize the uh, random down, so you just so you don't get a like a random phase every time. And then yeah, nothing, just completely sine wave on the way out. And then just uh, so erosion, you got these noise settings that we use for the mids, but the sine wave kind of just like I I think it's some some type of FM kind of thing. I'm not entirely sure. And then what we'll do is just mess around for like cool sounding frequencies and like double, triple them up, quadruple, just like it ends up sounding good most of the time. And then a lot of the times it's super quiet on the way out. Yeah, so you just like we often will put like a multi band at the end of this to kind of bring it out and then try to dial it back with the gain. Yeah, so yeah, this is just like getting super creative with like which frequency you choose and the amount and will like change this drastically depending on where you have it. Yeah. yeah and that sounds like some yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's super that's beefy. Wonky, wonky bass. And also a different type of um, way we like to go about the top end is just having a complete noise layer. So let's make sure this doesn't blow our ears out. We'll just go in here. You could use literally any type of noise for this, but Even just, just having a sample, a, yeah. Yeah. But like these are great just for adding like like almost that's kind of hard to explain, but it adds like a lot of room to your 808 and like makes it sound really full. And you could even make this wide and stuff. And it just makes it sound like your 808 is massive <laughs> or sub 808, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so this is just like a layer of. Yeah, so yeah. that's just enormous. <laughs> yeah, so sweet. That's how you would um, get um, an 808 in the style of our new track, Hades, which is with Slumberjack. Comes out or came out yesterday. I yeah. apologize. <laughs> Go check it out. It's on all streaming platforms. Um, if you like this video, make sure to smash all those. What do we got? Like, subscribe. There's the comment and yeah. the, the subscribe button. The yeah. the smash that sub. notification bell too. Oh, yeah. So when we do these videos, we'll, uh, you get notified. And um, yeah, we're going to be doing a bunch of videos like this. So let us know what you guys want to yeah, see. Keep the we'll comments coming. Let us know what you like, uh, what you'd like to see in the future. Yeah. And we'll keep pumping them out for you. Yeah. See you guys next time.